Students can also use technology tools for collaborative work through speaking. Let's see how one teacher uses those tools in the classroom. Hi, this is Sokun. In this segment, Leia and I are students who are working together to prepare a presentation on someone interesting we found on the Voice of America website. We'll be using Skype to collaborate. One useful feature on Skype is that you can use it with or without a webcam. As we'll demonstrate in this video, if you don't have a webcam, you can still use Skype for speaking without video. I will be the student with a webcam and Leia will be the student without a webcam. Hi Leia! Hi Sokun! Are you ready to get started on our presentation? Yes. Should we start by creating an outline of what we want to present on? That sounds like a great idea. We can use the chat function on Skype to do that. There's a button on the right side of your screen that looks like a speech bubble. Click on that to open the chat. Let's create our outline here. We chose to talk about Evan Lutz, right? Yeah, that's right. First, we need an introduction, then some body paragraphs, then a conclusion. Does this look good? Yeah, I think that looks great. As I was reading the article, I came across this word. How do I pronounce it? I'll copy it from the article and paste it into the chat. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word either. Um, why don't we make a list of words we're not sure of and then look them up on Youglish later? That's a great idea. to go now, but I think this was a good start on our presentation. I agree. We'll talk soon about making the slides. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. As you can see from the demonstration, the audio and text capabilities on Skype make it a great tool for collaboration. You can have discussions verbally as you would in person, but you still have the option to type. Skype also allows for multiple people to be in the same video call at the same time. So in terms of tools for collaboration, Skype is definitely one that is worth exploring.